Hi, I'm Bear. And I'm Max21. From Team Therapist. Team Therapist Airsoft on Facebook. We're fighting for the Rebels. At BB Wars Battlefront Red Alert at Code Red Airsoft. Is that good? Does that work? Do we actually do that right the first time? Yeah, I think did. so. Well, now, now we're, we're going to we're gonna gonna screw it up. Screw it up. This is our Rebel loadout for BB Wars Battlefront Red Alert at Code Red Airsoft. Now let's get to the gear. So starting with my primary, this is my gas rifle. On top of this, I have my Vortex Strike Fire Red Dot Optic with three times magnifier with a side flipping mount. On the front, I have mounted a uh, full key mod rail from Parallax Tactical and a RA Tech Noveski upper and lower receiver. On the butt stock, I have a Mission First Tactical lightweight stock Magpul Myad grip, and uh, of course my trusty EGLM with anti-personnel, anti-vehicle, 40 millimeter grenades. This is my SOCOM gear, gas blowback, PLR-16. I really like it because it's super light, super short, and I can run really, really fast with this, not, not really have to worry too much about being bogged down by my primary weapon. The other advantage is that I have a collection of WeTech M4 gas blowback magazines, which are compatible with the SOCOM gear, PLR-16. So the weapon I'm gonna be carrying for my loadout my highly modified Classic Army M249 saw. I decided to put a para stock on it. I broke the barrel a long time ago running through buildings at Lion Claws. So what I did was I chopped off the gas block and the lower end of the receiver and decided to mount short barrel M203 launcher. On top I have an EOTech holographic sight. Pretty much one of the best guns I've ever used. It's got an all system internals. I've had it for like six years and the thing has never failed on me. I run a box mag predominantly. I like the smaller box mag just simply because it's faster reloads. And one of the great things I really like about the 249 is the ability to take Stanag magazines. It's a great thing when you pretty much unload your entire box and you're thinking, man, I'm in a crazy firefight right now and I gotta switch out to a mag. So I could take a Stanag from any one of my team members, anything like that, and just keep firing, keep up the fight. I put a side grip on mine because the grenade launcher is on the bottom and having an angled side grip really helps out a lot. My secondary is a Tokimurui Desert Eagle with a garter full metal kit, but I carry in my Condor Tornado style drop leg holster. I really like it because it has superior amount of range. I can reach close to 200 feet out with this pistol, and it's just one heck of a fun pistol to shoot. The secondary weapon I chose to use, I don't, I don't really like handguns, so to speak, it is just more stuff to carry. So I figured I wanted to carry something with a little bit more oomph. So I decided to carry another 203 launcher, but this one's the standalone. It's got your standard M4 hand grip. I use that pretty much to clear out rooms, anything like that, anybody gets close. Since I can only fire fully automatic, anytime I get close to anybody else, that grenade launcher comes out and boom, you got one straight at you. Also to follow it up, I can then use the one on the underside of the M249. Mm-hmm. Boom! Boom. <laughs> All right, so starting from the top, I have my Multicam Black cap. These are my favorite uh, Bobster eye protection single panel goggles. I've never had any problem fogging either in high heat, in the rain, and I really do recommend them. Around my ears, I have Z-Tech neckband headsets. The advantage with this is the metal band is behind your head rather than on top, so if I ever need to switch out to a helmet, I don't have to deal with anything uncomfortable pressing down on the top of my head. Predominantly what I like to wear as Face Pro is the Dye I4 mask. It's one of the greatest masks I've ever worn. It never fogs up. It's so comfortable. You can change out lenses super quick, plus it just keeps the face pretty. So down to the vest, this is my JPC, which I have put a lot of different stuff on. Here I carry two 40 millimeter grenades. I have a fast mag attached here. Inside of the kangaroo pouch, I have uh, three Kydex inserts for each of my M4 magazines. This way I can draw them in and out, I can run around, I can bounce around without having to worry about my magazines dropping out. On the side, I have another set for two more magazines, which I can draw from the side. If I'm not running extra loaded mags, sometimes I'll, I'll run an M4 size speed loader. On my right side back, I have my two Thunder Bees. These are specifically for another person to grab off and pull and uh, throw for me. On the back, I have a backpack by A2 Tactical. It's a custom-made backpack which I had ordered in. I really like it because it has the same size cut as most of these uh, plate carriers, so you don't get that awkward extra backpack hanging down off the uh, the bottom side of your, your plate. 
So in my backpack, I have a platypus two liter lightweight hydration bladder. I really like it because the plastic bag itself doesn't really weigh very much. The uh, tubes and the uh, bite valves are all standard size, so I can swap them out for anything I want. So what I chose to wear as my plate carrier is just a Black Hawk heavy plate carrier, full molly everywhere. I have two pouches that are specifically designed for M249s. I don't really carry much in the form of anything else, loaders, anything like that. I pretty much have loose BBs that I carry in containers. They're quick, uh, clear containers that have a port on top for loading faster. One extra large high cap and then the rest are mid caps. On my back, I have a hydration carrier, always very important when playing. And on my front, I carry a cold steel buoy knife for those really close encounters. So I have a Condor uh, pistol belt. On my left side, I have my HSGI leg rig, which holds three pistol magazines, two rifle magazines. I have just standard Condor dump pouch, which is great for snatching small objectives or dropping uh, empty magazines. On the right side, I have a Condor tornado holster, which is great for carrying larger frame pistols like my Tokyo Marui Desert Eagle. So underneath, I have my jeans, my brown jacket, as we are fighting on the rebel side for BB Wars. On my feet, I'm wearing Merrill Moabs. These are probably the most comfortable boots that I've ever owned. It's like walking on clouds. Underneath all this gear that I'm wearing, I really wanted to emphasize rebels, so I decided to go with the blue camo. On our team, we choose to wear a lot of blue. We have uh, Atex LE as our primary uniform, and before that, we wore the uh, Navy working uniform colors, hence why my 249 is that same color. Since we're fighting for the Rebels, and we have been fighting with them for so long, I figured, you know what, I wanted to keep with that, so I put on the blue camo sweater, and I also have a pair of my motorcycle boots. They are really comfortable, and they're not really too heavy. So, on my hands, I have a Mechanics Impact on my left, and a SKD Pig glove on my right. The reason why I have different uh, style gloves on my left and right is because I always get shot in the left hand a lot more than the right, uh, which is why I choose to have the armored front glove. Also on my left wrist is a Garmin Fortrex 401 GPS. Really great for marking your GPS points on a map. If you're getting killed, going back to respawn, it's really easy to navigate back. Really great for very big objective style games where you need to be tracking back and forth. On my hands, I wear two different types of gloves. My left hand, I wear a Velocity Armor glove, and on my right, I actually wear a Harley Davidson leather glove. Pretty much, the left is just a cover for protection because I'm oftentimes getting shot in the left hand because it's my most forward. My right, I like having my fingers exposed just so I can reload and articulate pretty much anything I need to. Thanks for watching our Tactical Gearheads here on Airsoft GI. I'm Bear. And I'm X21. We'll see you on the battlefield. Did we Bloopers! So, so now we can... <laughs> At least I didn't do something about like... Are we gonna get weird? <laughs> <laughs> Shake and bake. <laughs> BB Wars, Battlefront, Code Red. God damn it. Oh. <laughs> this is our loadout for the Rebels. For Battle War... Oh, God damn it. Battle Wars, really, Tom? <laughs> yeah. Battle Wars, God. So what I'm going to be carrying is my Classic Army 249 that is very highly modified. That's the siren, because somebody is probably dying. Oh, no. Oh, no. No, really, though, it's probably very sad.